Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Dragonia Willem Fuzzbottom Jr. And these are some of my patrons. Lit Dragon Wario Land Gold Pyramid Ella Enchanted and Dragon Girl as we get started here today, I would like to ask that you let me know what you think of today's video. And if for whatever reason you don't like today's video, then please, let me know why. I totally forgot to copy that file just in case this um, recording goes to crap and I need to go back to the save that I just loaded. It's kind of important, which is unfortunate, because we are almost at the end of the game. But I have to go through two whole levels before I'm able to get to where Donkey Kong is being held captive. And that's going to take a bit. So this is kind of a time waster. Alright. On the bright side, if you're seeing this, and seeing how I was messing up getting the backup copy of the save file going, that means we actually succeeded in finding DK. So let us go ahead and head into Chain Link Chamber. Oh boy, it is time for more castle goodness. We have reached the inner sanctum of K. Rule's castle. In fact, that's probably going to be the description. We have reached the inner sanctum of K. Rule's castle, and I actually fell out of the inner sanctum of K. Rule's castle. There I go, plop. Alright, let's try that again. Hmm, been a while since we've seen these guys. Wanna say we haven't seen them since... I don't know when. I totally want these bananas. And then I panicked. It was a good thing there was a barrel there. Let's not screw it up by taking another hit. Let's also head down here because I'm curious if there's anything down there. Please don't grow up onto the thing. Oh no, no, gosh, gosh, no, no. Give me that. So that's a fun enemy. As you saw, that guy steals your lives. Not take, it, not, not like cause damage, not like kill you. He just knocks the blooms right out of you. As a quick way to lose all your lives if you're not careful. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to be very careful in this video. For example, I did not expect to get trapped there. I thought for sure there would be another chain above that chain, and in fact there was. But in order to reach it, I had to go to a little bit to the left, which was not quite possible. I'm probably not in the best state of mind for recording this video today. For you see, it's the end of the day, it's the end of the day, the day before, the night before I actually upload this, and I'm actually kind of tired. I should probably reconsider recording this video, but you know, I kind of want to get it done. I'm actually excited. I am actually excited about the potential end of the series. For you see, by ending this series, I get to go on to another game. I don't know what game that'll be yet, but it's going to be fun. I'm going to ensure that it'll be fun, because it's my Let's Plays. I'm not going to choose a crap game on purpose. I'll play a crap game if somebody pays me to play a crap game. And that was not supposed to happen. Oh yeah, I am totally in the right state of mind to be doing this. Get past me already. Ah, there goes my bananas. I have a couple considerations for what I'll let's play after this, but I'm not gonna say when we're this close to the end of the let's play. Well, honestly, when we're this close to the end of the let's play, I should be saying, but quite honestly, 
I don't want to say and then immediately change my mind, which is entirely possible. So let's not let that happen. Okay, which way do I want to go? Oh, we got multiple branches here. We could climb up through there, or we could take the hard way and use these tiny barrels. Of course I'm going to take the hard way. It's a let's play. You're legally required to take the hard way in a let's play. This is interesting. However, despite taking the hard way, I'm going to go back and take the other way. Because I'm curious. It looked like I was coming from the le left side up there. There was a path coming to the le from the left side, that is. But then, you couldn't? Okay, that's where I was sitting. Wonder why the camera wouldn't scroll over here. Well, now we know. And I took both ways. And it's a good thing I did, because there's the O. And I forgot the K. Ah, well, it's not required for 100%. Give me whatever's in here. There's nothing in here. Well, never mind then. Alright, I need to kind of... That banana is suspicious. Somewhere around here, there's a secret entrance. There it is! It's invincibility! What's that invincibility for? For getting through here. I'll take it! Is there anything else in here, though? I, I guess not. Let's just keep going. There is no warning for when that wears off. There really needs to be a warning. Alright, let me think here. Which one is the one who double swings her sword? Well, there's an easy way to figure this out. Okay, apparently there isn't. I'm just gonna have to go for it. It was that one. And you know what? I didn't see anything over there anyway. And I heard another one of those guys, and... Mm, I was kind of hoping to trick the jump and land on him, but it kind of didn't work. Ah, well, I'm right here. I need these coins. We haven't seen Swanky yet. Also, I'm probably going to need lives. Seriously, I feel like there's something in there. You! Um, let's try that again. Stop going against me. And wow, we actually got slowed down. Uh, it wasn't there. Okay, where'd you go? I need you to... Okay, that was almost... I'll get this. Eventually. Wonder what's over there. Maybe that's where I should be going. But I seriously want to find out if there's. You know what? New plan. Let him knock me down. It almost worked. How many lives am I down to? I'm down to unfortunate. We're going to get another game over. How fun! Okay, DK Barrel, where are you? No DK Barrel, really? Oh, this is unfortunate. This is kind of you know what? Screw whatever's there. Here, I have another idea. Should have done that in the first place. Too bad there wasn't anything there. That was all a waste of time. Oh, we're doing this again. So we got being chased by bees versus... Oh! Hi! Yeah, you know what? Screw that noise. With zero lies, I'm taking the easy way. There was one last guy there to screw you over if you took the left path. 
Although really, all you have to do is climb up fast. Move. Move. Thank you. Anything there? No? There is something here, though. There's something he Oh, wait, no, it's not there. It's somewhere like there. Oh, I wish I still had those invincibility frames. I don't know if they would have lasted to this point. This is scary dangerous. I'm kind of curious if there's anything down there, but uh, considering there's a bee down there, I don't know if there's anything else down here, and... It was not worth the risk. Okay. Ah, I wish I had Dixie. Because that is where I need to be. Oh wait, I can just roll into him. Derp. This is kind of fun. Not much of a challenge to it. If you miss, that's okay. You still got a chain to grab onto, but otherwise, that was interesting. I hear more bees. Oh, thank goodness I got Dixie. Okay. So we're doing that whole bee chasing thing again. Except this time it's required. And I knew they were going to come up, but the problem was I did not expect that you... That, that they would go up so... I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Point is, the timing was different than I expected it to be, and oh my goodness, these guys are going to... No! No! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my goodness! Those bananas! Those bananas are not worth it! Oh my goodness! Hold on, was there anything else in there? Screw you! Oh... That's all I went in there for. I spent two lives... on bananas. Who's willing to bet we're going to see the next game over? A game over. Something like that. Oh, hey. That's interesting. Remember how we took the left path and got the O? Apparently both paths lead to the O. So that's like three instances in this game so far where we had multiple copies of the same letter depending on which path you took. Well, that was fun. Give me a life. Please give me a life. All I need is five more coins. Bananas. Whatever. One, two, three, four. I better not die. You know, we took that path last time and we're going to deal with that very same obstacle on the next uh, section of this area, so... We'll take that path and sure enough, it's really not a challenge. It is arbitrary at best. All right, we're back to this point, and I actually have some lives on hand. Don't know how many lives, you can't find out. Nope, pausing does not bring up a life counter. All right, let's do this without dying, or taking a hit. Either one would be a bad thing, but my gosh, that is apparently really hard. It almost looks like there's something over there. Yeah, I knew you were coming. I heard ya. There's gonna be more of you, aren't there? Oh, wait! Scoot up, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. 
I'm assuming there's nothing in those little crevices that they were sitting in. Oh, no, no, no! Nope, nope, that is not happening. Wow. Oh, I wish I hadn't fallen down there. No, 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 no. My gosh. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, thank goodness we reached the end of the level. And my life counter said two for a second there. It got kind of confused about the situation. Where did I miss the N? Probably in the same place that I missed DK coin. It would have been funny if that was a secret entrance. Oh goody, so I have to hunt for the DK coin. Is there anything good on this? No, just coins. I'm, I'm definitely surprised those, uh... Those, uh, black... What do I want to call... Mimics are already appearing. Didn't think they, uh, would appear here. I thought they would have only appeared in the Lost World. Alright, you know... Before I do anything else, I just save. Actually, I've got six coins. Let me do the first couple of uh, Swanky Kong challenges, and then I'll save. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. So let's go with K. Rolls Quiz. What is the name of this area of the island? K. Rolls Castle, K. Rappy Keep, K. Rolls Keep. What is the name of Old Man Kong who lives in a monkey museum? Creaky, Beardy, Cranky. Which of these enemies also appeared in Donkey Kong Country? Uh, Nick the Rat. Cannon the Crocodile, Zinger the Wasp. They look more like bees, but sure. Need that life. Castle Challenge. What is the name of the castle level with the rising floor? Uh, K. Rolls Crush, Tragic Tower, Castle Crush. How many animal buddies can you ride in the game? Ooh, that's a toughie. So let me think here. It's a good thing there's not a time limit. So we got uh, Radley the Snake, Ramby the ra Rhino, we got Squitter the Spider, we got Squawks the Parrot, we got Ungard the Swordfish. That's five. The other two animal buddies in this game, that is the Anglerfish and the Seal, you cannot ride them. So I'm going to say five. What is the name of the flying ghost coat Kremlin who throws objects at you? Oh, tricky question. But I'm if I'm gonna guess here, I'd say it's not Flapper, it's not Black Jacket, it is Cloak. You know what? I got en just enough coins for Big Ape Bounty. It's probably risky, because I kind of need coins to get a save going, but I'll probably get those two coins while looking for the DK coin. What is your Spider Buddy's name? Spinner, Eight Eyes, he only has two, I'm pretty sure. Which is interesting for a spider, but then again, he also wears sneakers. It's Squitter! How many discs are there in Kong College? Five, three, six. Okay, they are definitely arranged in a thousand dollar pyramid formation, so I'm gonna say five. How many different baddies do you think are in the game? What? Oh my goodness! Okay, um, 20, 30, or 40. 20 sounds a little low, 40 sounds like too much. My gosh, I hope it's 30. Yay! Hmm. 30 isn't really that many in the grand scheme of things. I mean, I guess for your average platformer, sure, but typically, like in like in the Mario games, your average Mario game, primarily your average classic Mario game, not so much the modern ones, have a whole lot of different enemies. Like, I remember looking 
at the players guys for like Super Mario Brothers 3 and there's a lot of different enemies at the end of that guide or what about Yoshi's Island once again a lot of enemies hey you I need that coin all right where could that DK coin be though just as proof of what's going on here Oh! Oh! Oh, collected! Yep! Hold on a sec. Is there a particular reason that this banana is over here? Yep! And that is how we get to that. All right, yay! Toxic Tower. I should probably say first, so I will. Because Toxic Tower is basically the penultimate level before Donkey Kong. <sighs> Let me tell you, this era sanctum of K. Roll, he really upped the ante. He is not taking any chances on us. It's a good thing that he allows Miss Cranky Kong, Wrinkly Kong, that's her name, Wrinkly Kong to have a save skull at the base of his uh, tower. Alright, so... This is going to be an interesting one. We got an animal buddy parade in this level. Well, it's a good thing they gave me a DK barrel right there. Okay, wish me luck. I said wish me luck! So you can probably tell what the gimmick of this level is. What's weird about this level is, if you look out the windows as we climb, you'll clearly see that this vat of acid is way out into the outside of this castle. So it's like... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where is this exactly what is going on where is this asset coming from is the entire island sinking sinking or something okay I need to focus here that didn't go to corner plan I was trying to land on that guy no really I probably would have died anyway that guy is there for a reason I'm very much certain of that Yay, there's a reason kind of to come up here. Get that, now that I know that's there. Alright. Let's make this quick. Land on him, drop on down, there's the DK coin. And if I die, I will... Grind me a couple of coins and save so that I don't have to worry about that coin again. Alright, here we go. Make our way up here where Mr. Shooty Shooty is. I want that. I hope that I don't regret gritting that. Game's gonna make me try. Making the long jump, not making the long jump. Oh, this was not the right way to go. Oh, there's a coin over there. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me. That was not a platform, that was the background. Oh, 
Alright, this time, I'm not gonna waste time getting that barrel, because I don't need to. And now we are making it our way up here. By the way, pro tip! Don't waste your time! How do we get to over to those? Don't have time to look. look. Don't waste your time collecting that bunch of bananas on the way up that was to the left. You, you do not have the time to do that. We got multiple pathways all over the place here. Who knows what I'm missing by taking different paths. Alright! We're a bird again! That's fun. But I said I was done talking about transformation, so I'll, I'll just let it speak for itself. So yeah, we got an animal buddy parade going on here. Which is very much fitting considering right after this is where DK is being held captive. I tried to slow down to get in here, was not able to, but that's a nice shortcut. Please tell me I didn't miss the O. I missed the O! Gosh, that sucks. Well, at least we found the, uh, halfway point. Turn around, please. I missed. I regret missing. Turn around! Uh, though really, personal experience has taught me that it is hard to turn... It, it is hard to do a 180 when you're flying. Uh, I should just go for it, not worry about which path is easier. Go, 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 go! We still got another section after this. Well darn. Hey guys, guess who just had some sleep? Me! In case... It wasn't obvious, and you fail at guessing. <sighs> anyway, after that last death, yeah, I decided that it would probably be a good idea for me to get some sleep. Not because I was dying a whole lot, mind you, but because... After that point, I started rambling about the quality of my videos, and nobody wants to listen to that. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to scrap this and get some sleep and I'll, I'll finish this area for real in the morning. And it is, in fact, morning, so let us go ahead and finish this area. And apparently the game does not save the fact that I made it to the halfway point. That is unfortunate. So, uh, guys, I just found a glitch. I think it's a glitch anyway. I am clearly being swamped in acid, and also don't ask me, uh, how I got here. And I am not taking damage. In fact, I'm moving around a little, and uh, so far, not taking damage. Whee! Oh, there we go. I land and there we take damage. That was interesting. So, um, by the way, you know that uh, area to the left where that group of bananas was as we climb up this first section with the snake? Hold on, let me just get there so you know what I'm talking about. Right up there. Don't waste your time charging your attack to get up there. Just go to the right, it's faster. Alright, made it to the halfway point. I can't really remember how far I made it after this, so I'm uh, recording from here. 
By the way, I kind of made a mistake when I chose to let's play this game. I mean, I know I chose to let's play this because my Twitch stream failed to gather any attention and I really wanted to play this, so it's like, okay, I'll just do a let's play at YouTube. However, I've already got a let's play of this game on my channel. Yeah, on my uh, main page. Oh, was there not anything here? Oh, wait, there was a thing here. And that was a mistake. But anyway, on my main page, down near the bottom, I have a section dedicated to Let's Plays created by other people that I really enjoyed and you might enjoy too. And among those Let's Plays is a Let's Play of this game done by some guy and some girl. They did it like a tag team sort of thing. Yeah, that's an option in this game, by the way. There is a two-player co-op mode where one person plays one monkey and the other person plays the other monkey. Not at the same time, mind you. They actually, uh, you, you actually kind of take turns, sort of. Basically, only one per monkey is controlled at a time. The two-player mode just determines who plays which monkey. But yeah, I've already got a Let's Play of this game sitting on my channel, so it's like, this Let's Play that I'm doing now, kind of unnecessary. I try to avoid doing Let's Plays that have already been uh, done in that little playlist section of mine. Because those Let's Plays tend to be so good that there's no way my Let's Play will be anywhere near as entertaining. Oh, where did I miss the N? I feel like I missed something important. In fact, I have indeed missed something important. I have missed my chance to live. So, um, getting sleep has not increased my chances of survival. Oh, so I just remembered where the end was. My the, the end was sitting where I died that other time. And I skipped it because I didn't want to die there again. However, I decided this time it would be a good idea to go after that end. Alright, I saw some bananas over here. There, there, there's nothing here. They're a decoy, a trap, a something. A something. How about you? Okay, that's a pretty good clue that there's something here. And in fact there was! It's the bonus barrel! Yay! Oh goody, more Bramble level. This game loves its Bramble levels, but it can only hold so many, so it decides, yeah, let's go ahead and put some in the bonus rooms as well. That'll fill up our Bramble quota. And it's not like that's, it's that difficult. As long as you know how to do this. By this point in the game, surely you know how to create web platforms. And that's that. Do I not get a prize for that? That is bummer. Alright. Anything over here? Nope. Oh! I saw that! I totally saw that. What is down here then? Some bananas and some extra lives. Good, because right after this is where DK is being held captive. Now gives me some money because I kind of... Uh, hold on, let's, let's try that again. I, I did not have money when I saved because it does not save your money. However, somehow in this one level, I wound up getting seven of those coins. That's cool. Alright, while I'm thinking about it, I need to go here because I have not actually gone here. And I need to hire this plane just for the sake of making sure that it's free in the future. Because we're going to be backtracking to these other levels in order to go to Clubba's kiosk, and he's going to bring us to the optional world of the Lost World. 
For now, though, we gotta deal with K. Rool. He is here, along with Donkey Kong and Stronghold Showdown. However, given the fact that I'm still in a dying mood, apparently, it'd probably be a good idea to save first. Alright, just real quick, I want to switch characters, so I'm going to go into a level, pause, and select... Well, not pause, you don't have to pause in order to switch characters. You have to pause in order to exit the level. And there's a reason why I want to do that. It is because I want a certain thumbnail when I enter this place. Actually, it is probably, uh... This video is probably getting pretty long. Considering I... Well, actually, I don't know how long it's getting because I haven't recorded since last night. But considering how many deaths I've had, it is probably a safe bet that this video is getting long. Now, however... It would be kind of dumb to end this now. Because I'm pretty much uh, knocking on K. Rool's door. Knock, knock. And there, go, there goes uh, K. Rule. K. Rule just flew the coop. He ran away. He actually ran away. He saw us get past those past couple of really difficult levels, and it's like, what? You made it through those? Well, screw this noise. I'm out of here. And he just took DK and literally flew the coop. Well literally flew the keep rather but that's kind of interesting here we had this level called the showdown making you think okay it is time for the final battle and it's not time for the final battle what a twist well it's not over yet uh, the flying croc is a whole other area mind you it's a short one there's a level, and then there's the final boss fight. And that one level also kind of includes a boss fight of sorts. So we got a penultimate boss and the final boss coming up. <sighs> We're not going to do that now, though, because it will take some time. It will require a whole other episode. However, for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here on the bottom of my screen. This is all of my patrons, and I am going to stall for time. Because you know how I was just talking about the length of this episode? I bet that some of you decide to check how long this video has been going and how much time is left in the video. And if you don't know about this little twist, you probably saw that there was still a lot of time left in this video, so it's like, okay, so Dragon is probably going to go ahead and fight the final battle, because there's enough time left in the video for that final battle to take place. Otherwise, if I had ended this now, probably you would have seen that, oh, there's not a whole lot of time left in this video, I guess the final battle isn't happening. So I'm kind of playing you for a full by extending the time to make it appear that there's enough time for a final battle in this episode. And there's a reason for that. So I don't know if you've heard of a show called American Ninja Warrior. It's a show that started in Japan and no it was not called American Ninja Warrior in Japan. But it was a show that was starred in Japan and eventually brought to America, and in this show... Ninjas go through these grueling endurance courses in an effort to win a million dollars. There's like a whole bunch of courses they have to get through, and if they make it through all of them, they win the million dollars. However, here's the thing. It is possible for nobody to get that far. The courses are that hard. I think there's been eight seasons so far, and so far, 
only in one season has anybody made it to the end. And so every other season, as you're watching the finale of the season, you're looking at the time and it's like, okay, we've got maybe 15 minutes left, a half hour left, and yet we're nowhere near close to where people would be playing through that final course. Which means probably nobody actually will make it to the final course. So it's not even over yet and I know nobody's going to win. And it kind of takes all the fun out of watching the finale when you know it is not going to end well. What NBC needs to do is basically what, I, what I'm doing right here. If nobody's going to win, or if there's not going to be a final battle, stall for time. Make the last act just them talking about the season so far or something. A retrospect or something. I don't know. Just make it so that if you're looking at the time, maybe they'll make it to the end, but then it'll uh, turn out that they didn't make it to the end, even though there's still plenty of time left in the episode for them to be at the end. But that last little segment is just them talking about things. Which is what I'm doing here. So at this point, I am probably just now finishing the final battle, or maybe I'm already getting into the credits. So I will go for maybe a couple more minutes. Also, here's something funny. Technically speaking, I did not beat a boss in this level, in this area. And yet, credit goes to DK, or Diddy Kong. Which I guess actually would be uh, DK for short. That's kind of funny. Diddy Kong gets all the credit even though he didn't do anything at the end. That's interesting. Yep, yeah, sure enough. Final level of this area and it's got Diddy's portrait. Also, here's a thought. Why is K. Rool just hovering there? I mean, I know we've got a plane and we can catch up to him now if he did fly away. Which honestly is probably what needed to happen. But still, he's just waiting there. As soon as I go into the flying croc, we'll see that the area consists of a long rope ladder leading from the castle to the flying croc. So it's like, he ran away, but he's still expecting us to fight him. Not entirely sure what's up with that. Well, maybe he is aware that we got a plane, or access to a plane, and so it's like, well, I was about to fly away, but they'll probably catch up to me anyway. So I'm just going to save on fuel and just hover here. Yeah, that is probably what is going on. So, I think at this point, I should probably save. Let us go ahead and save. Actually, I decided to go ahead and put Dixie on front because, well, after Diddy got all the credit for beating this area, Dixie at least needs to be able to save. That sounds fair, right? So let us save as Dixie. And then when we go to, into the Flying Croc, we'll be going into it as Dixie, and maybe she'll get the credit for, at the very least, defeating the penultimate boss. Oh boy. So, next time, it is the final battle. Like I said, the uh, Lost World is an optional area, so we're going to probably going to go after it after beating the game. 
So next time won't actually be the end of the game, but next time will, in fact, be the final battle. I'll see you then.